So today I'm going to be trying the Marco Foam Fresh Cleaner, which I have um, I've never used before. So we're about to find out whether it can actually help these poor Dan Easy trainers that I have owned for absolutely years and years and years, and I've absolutely ruined them. So let's see if they can it can clean it up a little bit. So this Foam Fresh is uh, it's a mousse. It keeps your helmet lining, body armor, gloves, boots and shoes smelling clean and fresh apparently. Just read in the back of the, uh, the can it says to remove heavily built up dirt and mud prior to application. Luckily one doesn't have too much on there. Shake hand vigorously, spray foam onto the desired area for cleaning. Allow to uh, soak in for a short time before wiping away excess with a clean dry cloth. Luckily I've got one of those. Um, and then yeah, store in a cool dry place. So let's see if we can uh, do this, eh? Oh my god! <laughs> Comes out a bit faster than I thought it was going to. Kind of needs to go inside a bit more. Okay, what do you reckon? Should I shove it in a little bit? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That's the inside. <laughs> it's like lemon smelling shaving foam basically oh wow look at it disappearing Going. It's fizzing and it's disappearing. Look at down there. Huh. Wow. I thought I was going to have to wipe off quite a lot of excess, but maybe not. Right, should we try? Oh, I've still got quite a lot of inside the boot that I may have to wipe away. <laughs> Let's try the other side. So that's after. And that's before. Looks quite dirty. <laughs> Ta da! as much as it can. I've still got quite a bit of excess on the inside 
So I now need to just wipe off the excess with my microfiber. Okay, so that's the first boot done. I can see that there are a couple of places that it's missed. So where, when I wear these, they obviously bend quite a bit like that. And you can see kind of in there, there's a bit of dirt that it hasn't got. And behind the label as well. So that may be due to my application. <laughs> I didn't expect it to come out just like shaving foam. So I'm gonna put another little bit on there and see if it'll get rid of it. It's also a little bit patchy on the laces as well which um, again that might be my application so I'm just going to put a bit more on the laces and a bit more on these little bits that it's missed around the back there as well see just going to put a little bit more on there and it's just fizzing away I've just put a little bit on here a little bit on the back and some on the laces that pretty much went straight away it looks a lot more even now and that is going as we speak Gonna clean away that. We got behind there as well. <laughs> okay, this bit over here might look like a little bit that I've missed a bit of dirt, but that's actually where I've worn them through to whatever's behind the suede. So compare it to the other one. Although this one is the one I've just done and it is still wet, it does look a bit better. Definitely smells better. They, they definitely smell like citrus fresh or whatever it's meant to smell like. I'm a little bit disappointed on this rubber bit at the bottom. I thought it was going to clean that, but they smell good. They look good. Let's give it 10, 15 minutes until it's dry and then compare it again. So, um, this is now completely dry. I've just left it for about 5-10 minutes. Um, and there is quite a clear difference between the two trainers, I think. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this one does look a bit cleaner. I'm a little bit disappointed. There's a little bit of a mark here, which it hasn't managed to get rid of. Um, I'm not sure if I can put a little bit more on and kind of scrub it with the... Um, the microfiber but they're definitely much cleaner and the best thing about it is they uh, they definitely smell better so I'm quite impressed I think I, I might have a little go at trying to get rid of that that's the only thing that's annoying me um, but yeah they smell good they look good these trainers are probably muck or foam fresh's ultimate um, test because I've had them for years and they absolutely stink never wash them never do anything with them until today so this one is the dirty one the one that I haven't done yet I think you can see a little bit of a difference so I'm going to clean this one now and I'll show you both of them in a second has been done I've just done this little bit again sprayed a little bit of that on rubbed it with this fingers crossed it works now I just need to do this one look at the state of that Okay, a bit more just for luck. <laughs> okay. I think I applied a little bit too much this time. It's all 
also put up on this side. Looks lovely. smells so much better and this time I think I've got better at the application because I haven't missed any bits well this bit maybe a bit but really good coverage on this one there we go in order to get these bits a little bit whiter what I've done is just sprayed a tiny little bit of the foam fresh onto a microfiber and I've just literally just rubbed it up and down like that and they've come out much better as you can see with a before and after quite a difference not too shabby So now that I've finished cleaning my shoes, I'm going to have a go at cleaning my helmet. So as with most girls, I wear makeup when I ride with my helmet um, and I've got quite a bit of kind of makeup build up down the side here. So I figured that I would use the foam fresh to see how we get on. good coverage in there I think most of it has gone on my straps I think I need to have another spray I think the one thing with this cleaner is it is a little bit hard to spray where you want it to go that's better <laughs> This is bubbling a lot, but it's not soaking in as much as the um, as it did on my trainers, which is interesting. So I think I'm going to have more excess to wipe off now. <laughs> I don't know if you can see quite a lot of it has gone on the inside of my visor. <laughs> That's going to need a clean. Alright, that's all done, apart from the visor. Oh no, it's gone up in my sunglass bit and I can't get it. smells really good that's all all cleaned off I can see that there's patches I don't know if you can see Let me rest it on the microfiber again so I guess the question is would I recommend foam fresh by Mark um yeah I think I would um I 
find it a little bit hard to um, direct it where I want it to go, um, but when it does go on whatever it needs to go on, the shoes, the helmet and everything, it does smell amazing. It does clean them because you can see they are, these are dry now um, and uh, they definitely have made a difference. It definitely has cleaned it even though I've had to have a couple of attempts at both of them to you know get a little bit off the, the lighter suede and to make sure that the helmet was completely covered but it's relatively cheap it smells amazing it's not too hard to do you may need to spend a little bit more time on it but actually the alternative is I take out the, the helmet pads and I chuck them in the washing machine or I have to hand wash them and with the boots I chuck them in the washing machine it's pretty easy just using this little shaving foam to spray can isn't it so yes I would recommend it um, and I'll definitely be using it again um, I might use it on um, on some jackets on the inside of a jacket maybe um, you know something that is a bit harder to wash so maybe a leather jacket um, I might use it on the inside of that and see how I get on but first impressions this is the first time I've used this um, yeah first impressions are pretty good although I would if I was muck off I'd probably look at this little spray cap thing and see if I could make it a little bit easier to use because the minute you put a tiny bit of pressure on it just goes so yeah I'm impressed <laughs>